Hey buddy, how you doing? Looks good. This is probably the best Fist of the North Star figure they will ever make in the history of the world. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Hey guys, this video is going to be about me talking about this figure right here. I did an unboxing, but as I was editing it together, I noticed that the audio was kind of weird. So, um, no unboxing, which is probably good anyway. It was just me fumbling around with a box. Uh, speaking of boxes, if you guys wanted to see what the box looked like, it looks like this. Uh, retro art on the front and the back. I'll probably keep this box forever. I think it looks amazing. The figure itself comes with 16 pairs of hands. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it because of the glare, but this is what it looks like. Very basic packaging. The jacket comes off. Um, it actually, when it's in the box, it's separate from it. So you'll see the hands, you'll see the jacket, you'll see the figure with the shirt off, no stand. So this guy stands on his own, which is awesome because I can't stand stands. Too many stands in that sense. So it's great that he is able to kind of comfortably stand on his own. I hope I have my camera settings good. I can't promise a good review because I'm not really great at reviewing figurines. It's not my forte. I don't know how to talk about ratcheted joints and stuff like that. I don't even know what that means, but I think this is a ratcheted joint. <laughs> it's squeaky as hell. But uh, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit about this figure and I'm going to let you guys know if it's worth it or not uh, by the end of it, hopefully. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, I'm not technical at all. I don't know what how to name joints. Um, or anything like that but what I can promise you is beautiful 4k images of a figurine from all angles and I think that's the most important thing because when I am looking at reviews online that's all I want to see I don't give a shit about ratcheted joints and how the head turns and stuff like that speaking of how the head turns that's pretty much it it doesn't do much more because his neck is so thick and manly I guess and the mullet in the back which you can't see, it's covered by the jacket. Which, I don't think is lambskin, like what Storm Collectibles is saying. It feels like pleather. Um, but I don't know, they say it's lambskin. Um, it has to be, I guess, just because it's illegal to misrepresent or say inaccurate things about your figure and sell it. So if they say it's lambskin, it's soft as heck, it just feels fake. But if they say it's lambskin, then it's lambskin. And that probably adds to the the price, the asking price of this figure. Um, this is how big he is right here. I'm gonna do a, a turn. This is how he looks like from the back for uh, those that care. I mean, it's a nice figure. This is, like I said before, this is probably the best Fist of the North Star figure you will, we will ever get. So if that means anything to you guys, and that pretty much tells you that, yeah, I need to buy this figure, then yeah, you need to buy this figure right now. But as far as whether or not I think it's worth it, um, to a fan like me, because I'm such a fanboy, I love Fist of the North Star so much. This is pretty much my childhood. Um, I grew up wanting to be this guy, <laughs> you know. Um, it's worth it. Like all the, it's, it costs so much. And I'm thinking about getting the Rao as a companion. And if the scale is accurate, Rao is like huge. He's way taller than Kenshiro. You know how impressive that's going to be? This already looks impressive. Um, I have a Raiden over there that's a 1-6 scale as well. Let me bring him down as a comparison. <clears throat> and this is why I think that, this is why I think this figure is so expensive. Because the detail in this Raiden is insane, right? But this cost me less than this. Um, this is a hot toy, by the way. And this is the size comparison if I was to put Kenshiro on the stand. Kenshiro is, like, massive. He's way bigger than Raiden. Raiden looks scrawny. He looks like a wuss. Looks like he'd get manhandled by this guy. Honestly. Um, now that I think about it. So maybe it is worth it. But no. Um, Hot Toys, as you know, has a standard that we've all expect. Um, that we've all come to expect. And that's a very high standard. As far as Storm Collectibles standards go, this is as good as it's going to get. Um, it's amazing. A uh, couple things you should know as well. The shoulder pad here is only hinged on the back right here. Feels a little flimsy and sensitive, but I understand why they did it that way because then you could do some crazy YMCA poses and stuff like that. Um, see how it's moving around? If that was hinged at the front like that, you wouldn't be able to do that. 
Speaking of um, the outfit, this top here, this jacket, when you get it, it's impossible to put on. I had to put his arms up like this, like he's a freaking kindergartner, and put the jacket on this way. And even then, I was like, oh my god, this jacket is going to... It's not going to make it. It's going to rip because these armholes are really, really small. You're going to have to be very careful. But it didn't rip. It held its place. I mean, maybe um, maybe they're right. Maybe it is a uh, lambskin because uh, if this was pleather, it would have definitely tore, uh, I think. Was that good grammar? I don't know. I have them posed like this. I like, I prefer a basic pose, to be honest. I'm not into those like jumpy, drop kicky kind of poses. I'm not about that. I just like to have like a tough guy pose, like just him standing there like this. But what do you guys think of this figure? Looks good, right? The details in the muscles, amazing. Look at this. I feel uncomfortable just opening it up like this. His chest is massive. These are beefy arms. I aspire to be this. Not really, it's kind of, it's kind of big. Too big, too massive. Too, too much, too manly. Uh, that's his butt right there, for those that care. It's him from behind. It's a great looking figure, like, um, I think it's it's awesome. The more I look at it, the face could be more sinister and angry, I think. But, um, Kenshiro's a sensitive guy, too, in the anime. He has a lot of compassion. Um, yeah, I think he carries a girl that carries around a little flower, you know, it's gonna replant the, the, the earth and, and, and have things grow and... He's all about the peace, so maybe maybe it's appropriate. But what do you guys think? Okay, I think that's it. That's all I gotta say. Um, I can't think of anything else. Honestly, it's a good figure. Um, if you're a super nerd for Fist of the North Star, if you're an old guy like me, who um, who grew up on this stuff, uh, Battle Angel, Fist of the North Star, Ninja Scroll, The Giver, things like this, this is probably the best version of Fist of the North Star. For, a Fist of the North Star figure we will ever get. So if that means anything to you guys, pick it up immediately. Pick up the Rao when it comes out. But if you're just a casual fan, you really don't care. You're just looking to just waste money that you got from like your income tax rebate or whatever. Uh, maybe look at another figure, you know, because it's, it's a bit overpriced. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.